Her Guinness won Blinken Ice US inroads in Central Asia as Ukraine rattles nerve Secretary of State Antony Blinken is heading to Central Asia hoping the greater US engagement will reassure former Soviet republics rattled by the Ukraine war. Although Russia's historic clout limits the extent of cooperation days after the anniversary of the Ukraine invasion, the top diplomat will hold talks in Kazakhstan and then Uzbekistan and meet jointly with foreign ministers of all five ex-Soviet Central Asian states in Kazakhstan. Donald Liu, top U.S. diplomat for South and Central Asia, said the United States was realistic with the five nations were not going to end the relationships with Russia or their other giant neighbor, China, which has been boosting its own presence. But he said Blinken would show that the United States is a reliable partner and different from Moscow and Beijing. We have something to offer in terms of engagement economically, but we also have something to offer in terms of the values that we bring to the table. After a year of traveling the world to rally support to Ukraine, Blinken's mission may be this most subtle yet. Diplomats and experts say that Central Asian leaders are walking a tight rope due to formal security agreements with Moscow and Russia's overwhelming security and economic influence, including as a destination for laborers. Liu pointed to the recent conviction in Kazakhstan, a police officer is accused of torture during the last year's sunset, as well as Uzbekistan's rapid abolition of forced child labor in cotton harvests.